and we're on. Welcome back to the Witcher Math channel on this uh, Wednesday, May 23rd, the year 2024. And today we're going to combine our vast knowledge and skill of solving single variable equations, such as the pink one you see here, and combining that with our newfound knowledge of the characteristics of different types of angle pairs. First, let's recap. Look at me, I prepared. Woo! Okay, a recap. We talked in a rec another recent video, and if you missed that, let's just do a quick recap. You can skip this part if you want. Um, this is a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and so two or more angles that add up to 90 are complementary. That's what they're called when they add up to 90. Even if there's more than two of them, it's two or more that have a sum of 90. And these two also happen to be adjacent because they share a vertex, they share a common side, and they do not overlap. Okay, these two up here, that's a straight angle, which means it's 180. And so just like complementary, we call this uh, supplementary in that we've got two or more angles that have a sum of 180. So in this case, angle X plus angle Y equals 180. Over here, angle A plus angle B equals 90. So ju just that basic knowledge of what's a right angle, what's a straight angle, and knowing that we can write and solve equations, they would equal 90 and 180, respectively. Here, we've got two crossing lines, which creates two pair, two pairs of vertical angles. You could also call those opposite angles so you don't get confused with the word horizontal, which we do not use here. Okay, here's what I mean. Angle one and angle three are formed by these two lines crossing. They are vertical. They're opposite of each other. They share a vertex, but that's it. But another thing they have in common is their angle measure. They are congruent. Little equal sign with a squiggly over the top, congruent. And you could also notice that every time where there's one pair and there's only two lines, there are two pairs. So angle two and angle four are also vertical and therefore have the same angle measure if we measured it. Congruent. And if you don't believe me, just measure them and check it out. It's true. Okay, so we've got right angle, straight angle, supplementary, complementary, vertical. We've got the word congruent, which I'll write in here to make sure you know how to spell it. Spelling matters all the time. Okay, there we go. And then down here, these two angles, this is an example of they are supplementary. This is just our recap, okay? I hope you didn't miss all this stuff previously. I'm going kind of fast. They're supplementary because they add up to 180, but they are not adjacent, and they don't have to be adjacent to be supplementary. You know what's coming next, right? Up here in the right corner of this paper. These are, go ahead and say it. They're complementary. Spell that with an E, spelling matters. Because they add up to 90. They are not adjacent, because if they were, I couldn't write between them like this. They do not have to be adjacent to be supplementary or complementary. 
what if we take all three of these angles? What would you say about them then? Well, in addition to none of them are adjacent, what else could you say? What is their sum? We've got 54 plus 26 plus 90. You could say they are supplementary in addition to being non-adjacent. That's our recap. Supple, like I said, spelling matters. Okay, supplementary. Okay, recap is over. Six minutes. Recap, that was that. Okay, here's the new thing. So we're going to take that knowledge from the recap <clears throat> and uh, take this skill we know about. For example, just to remind you, you know we, we have learned and been doing a lot of this, solving one, two, and multiple step equations to uh, get the value for x. So in this case, we subtract 8 from both sides. I get 4x equals 82. Divide both sides by 4. And I get x equals 20 and a half or 20 and 5 tenths. Good, right? Simple. We've done that before. But then we've got this kind of thing happening. So here's a pair of complementary adjacent angles, right? We just recapped that. They're complementary because this little box means a right angle, which means 90, which means angle A plus angle B equals 90. And they're adjacent, just for the record. You should always be tossing all of these vocab words around in your head at all times because it's fun. But here's what happened in class recently. We have students that are really good at this stuff in pink over here on the left side. All of a sudden, when presented with this situation on the right in Halloween colors, can you help me, please? I don't know, how, how do you do this? Okay, so let's hit that one. Well, we know all the stuff in between these two lines adds up to 90, right? So angle A, which if you can see it up there, says x plus 9. And angle B, which says 3x minus 1. So I'm just substituting the uh, expressions for each one of the angles. And I add those together, and I know it's going to equal 90, because look, there they are. So I can just put a big plus sign in between there. As long as I know it equals 90, now we can solve it. I combine like terms for x and put the numbers together. 9 and negative 1 makes 8. And then at that point, you might go, wait a minute. I just did that. Yes, you did. Which means if you know your angle vocab and you know how to solve equations, you also know how to solve equations contained in angle problems because it's the same thing. Yeah, you can do this. No big deal. Sorry, I just can't leave it unfinished. We already know the answer. But then with the added um, dilemma here, we solve for x, but now what is angle A? Angle A is x plus 9. So angle A is 29.5 degrees. Notice that x does not equal 80 degrees. It's just a value. We're substituting that value in to determine the degree measurement. That's what the little m is for each angle. So 3 times 20.5 then take away 1 is going to be 61.5. Take away 1 is 60.5. Check it on your calculator if you don't trust my mental math. And uh, that's probably a safe bet. 
but when you add those together, it equals 90. So that answer, all those answers must be correct. Good. Got a picture of that. Let me change the angle here. Boom. If you can do this, you can do this. 